Hello, welcome back to another vlog. I'm gonna do a little unboxing. I don't do unboxings, it's not really my thing. I don't really know why, how I feel about doing unboxings, but I have a few packages to open, so I thought I'll do them here. If you hate unboxings, let me know. I won't be offended, it's totally fine. Um, but if you like them, also let me know too and I'll do more. Let's get into it and see what new things we have. Okay, this one's from Dose. Oh, I think they're little lip kits. Ooh, nice. So it's a lip liner, a matte gloss. No, <laughs> matte gloss does not exist, Katie. Uh, a matte lip. La, la, la. Matte liquid lip, a glossy lip. A liquid lip, a gloss, and a velvet mousse. Which I don't really wear, but I'm guessing that's like a, like a creamy lip that looks matte, but creamy. But yeah, that's it. The cork one. I'll probably keep these and give them away because I have similar dark lipsticks. I think I actually have this liquid lip from Dose already. So there's no point in me keeping that because I won't wear it enough. So usually when, what I'll do when I get like products, I will go through them and see what I'll wear, see what I won't, see what I want to film with or create a look with. And then the rest goes into a pile that goes for giveaways. Um, like if any of my friends want to take it, I give a lot of it to the women's shelters, so that's usually what I do with any of the products that I get that I know I won't use. This is pretty. This one's called On Repeat, which I don't think I have, so I might keep some of these colours because these are very me. I like the look of this. I'm going to actually swatch this. I'm not going to swatch the other one because, as I said, I'm not going to keep it. I'm just going to swatch the liquid lip. That's a nice colour. Usually then what I'll do, if there's something out of a packet that I want to keep, I'll take this. I'll probably take the lip liner with it. I'm not going to keep the gloss because I have so many glosses and I don't really... I never go through my glosses. I'll keep these and then put these just in a little giveaway box to add to another giveaway. Dose of Colours liquid lips are, are one of my favourite liquid lip formulas they go on like a nice thin layer and um, it doesn't like cake or go cakey on the lips the other way sometimes you put it on and then you're almost biting the lip off because it goes so clunky and um, that never happens with dose let's see what we have in this collection so this is the coral vibes only collection and um, so a little eyeshadow palette a bronzer blush, I think that's more of a blush. We have a highlight here. Oh shit. And I stuck the thing just into it. That's great, Katie. We have a body oil here. This is from Sol, which is another company of ColourPop. They have ColourPop, Sol, Body, and Fourth Ray Beauty, which is the product here. Fourth Ray. Really like their products. They're very, very affordable skincare. I have used um a couple of their products, their cleansers are amazing and they also have face oils which I love, I'm obsessed with face oils. So yeah, they have really nice products. So if you're looking for some affordable skincare, I, I would definitely recommend checking out Fourth Ray. And then we also have two little glossy lips here. I'm not going to swatch the palette because I'm going to keep this palette, I'm going to use it for a giveaway. I have all of these colours in many palettes so i'm not going to add another one to the collection i'm trying to be more conscious on what i keep and what i give away because i literally don't need everything that i get honestly i keep about 10 percent of the products that i get because i just have so many um and i'd rather give them away to somebody who will use them than just keep them for the sake of keeping them i have this cute little package from too faced too faced and their cute little packages how cute is that we have a Born This Way multi-use concealer. This is not my shade, so that will go in a giveaway box. I'm going to actually just give this away too, because it's cute. But uh, I have learned from the past to not keep every single cute bag that I get. Because it just ends up in a pile in my, in my makeup room. And I don't use it, so. I do actually really like that multi-use concealer. It's great for um, highlighting. It's great for contouring. I think something is broken. This one from Maybelline. Well, that's not very safe. So we have a broken cup in here. So I'm going to be careful and just take some of this lip products out. Let's just keep all of that in there. 
So in this one from Maybelline, it was some of their Superstay liquid lips. They must have like have an extension range. There's some brown neutral shades. Next is some of my favorite NARS. Nice sleek packaging. NARS always have such sleek packaging. So this is a bronzer blush duo. We have a mini orgasm double duo. Goes on like a little Christmas tree. So this is what it looks like. I'm not gonna open it because we're not gonna keep it. So it's just like a blush highlight duo. Free your mind mini lipstick. So there are four, four little mini lipsticks in this. So very cute, very wintry, very vibey. That's a cute little gift. And then we have Climax set. Oh, this is, must be the mascara, which is great. I'm gonna actually keep this for myself. <laughs> I have all of these that I'm giving away. And this is just my little pile of stuff that I've been keeping so far. This goes to show you what I keep and what I get rid of. I used to keep everything and put it all in my drawers and keep it all neat and tidy. Well, there's only so much neat and tidy you can keep when you have too much stuff. Over the last like two years, I have, every time I go through packages, this is what I do. I'm like, this is all gone. I don't even try and put it away. I don't put it anywhere. I'm like, no, this goes. I have a box that I put all the stuff that I don't want into. And it just makes it so much easier because there's only so many products you can use. So this is from BH Cosmetics. Oh cute, we have a little brush set. We have a eyeshadow palette. You can see them colors. Nice wintry shades. I have another palette here, which is Let It Glow for a highlight palette, lovely. An eyeshadow palette. That's a big eyeshadow palette. Oh, this is kind of cute. There's like a good range of colors in there. Like, look at this shade. Yes, here for it. This one up here. I think I'm going to keep this one. I like the purples. This is like a fun color. And this one too. This is exciting. I have never, ever received a Bath and Body Works package before. I don't even know how they got my address. But I am here for it. Winter Candy Apple Shimmer Fizz Body Lotion. We have a, an Ultra Shea Body Cream. We have a Vanilla Bean Whipped Body Scrub. Mm. And then we have a Fine Fragrance Mist, the Vanilla Bean. The package that I have been very excited about. Let's get this. Beetlejuice Collection from Melt. How epic is that? Hi Garfield. Garfield's in now for an hour. Dun, 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 dun. How epic is that? Wow. Melt have a new mascara. We have some of their, which I really like this. It's their uh, cream. Yeah, I'm just fucking drop it. It's their cream gel liner. So there's a purple, a gray, and this neon. Orangey, yellow, or yellowy green. We have some like holographic glosses here. And then lipsticks. Oh, they're cool too. They're imprinted with the snake. So that's it for this unboxing. Um, I'm very excited to play around with some of these products, especially the melt. They're so fun. Hi, baby girl. Come here and say hi. Say hi, everybody. I'm gonna go explore, don't you? You go over there.
Hello again. So I have been organising a lot of my makeup drawers um, and just doing like a big declutter because there's stuff in there that have been there for a few years, I'm not going to lie, so they all need to go. Um, I didn't film it because I just kind of was just doing a few drawers a night and just getting stuck in. But um, I'll show you what I've done and I still have a bit to go so I'll show. I'll do the rest of it here because I have, I posted some of my stories on Instagram and got questions about it people wanted me to film it and then i was like shit i didn't film it i'll show you now anyway what i've done so far so i have like my alex drawers in here in this wardrobe that just is out of sight i don't have to see it i don't have to look at it this is not done yet i need to kind of redo this organization but i did my drawers so i have my highlights here which i threw out so much stuff but these are the ones that i've kept so i have some like liquid ones here and here and then powder ones I have satin powders, I have bronzers in here, and my blushes here. These little um, dividers that I have are from a store called Daiso, which is a Japanese dollar store. So they just come in strips and then you can just connect them together and have them as far apart or close together as you want. They're pretty handy for these drawers. Um, and here I just have satin sprays. I have just some drugstore stuff in here. I organized my lashes, tidy them up a little bit. And there's an empty drawer for whatever. I'm not sure what we'll put in there. I also did my brows stuff here. Got rid of a load of dried up stuff. Mascaras, this was full to the brim. Even new ones that I had that were never opened were dried out. So I had to go through all my mascaras and then get rid of any of the ones that were dried out. And then the same with my liners, I went through all my liners. Um, and then I have lip glosses in here, which I did a while ago. I probably need to do them again, but for now, they're they're tidy enough for now. And then here, I actually did, they all need to be cleaned down, but I did these already in a vlog, which I'll link somewhere if you want to see me do those ones. They're still nice and neat and tidy. And then here are like all my lipsticks. So I tidied this one out again. This was like pouring out. So I tidied all this up. I have like my YSL lippies here and just like other random brands here. And I have the MAC drawer here, which is my favourite drawer because it's just all so cohesive. So these are the ones I need to do today. Like look at this shit. Like I can't even. This is my nude drawer. I'm not even joking. I haven't taken a nude lipstick out of this in months. Because I have it um, over there. I have a little trolley which it needs to be cleaned too. But that's where I keep all my like go-to colors. So I haven't actually reached for anything in here and then I've been just shoving stuff in. Again, this is another one. Bit of a disaster. And down here, <laughs> another disaster. So I'm going to tackle these three drawers right now. I also have dr these. All of these need to be sorted out and cleaned cleaned out and just completely decluttered. I don't even want to show you this because it's a disaster, but look at this. All of that is just gonna go. My boyfriend's gonna help me with that. So uh, I said I'll do all my drawers and do all the bottom bit first and then we're gonna tackle all of this, clear it all out. Because this space could be used so much better, but it's just like a place where I end up just shoving stuff out of the way. Um, and then it just sits there for months like months or years so yeah I need to just get rid of a lot of stuff I'm very into minimizing what I have as much as possible because I just have too much stuff I'm going to show you what I have so far. So I've done the nude, got rid of all the dried out ones, um, 
and just kept all my other little nudes in here. I have this one here, which was like pinks and purples, colors that I don't particularly wear um, all too often. Like obviously you know me, I wear nudes most of the time. Or if I wear color, I'll wear like, red or like these type of colors. I don't really ever wear like purples, anything like this. But I'm gonna just, I kept a few here anyway. So you know, if I'm doing different looks or like whatever the case may be, I have a load of space here, which I think I will probably fill up with my reds because all of my reds are just kind of thrown in here and here in different baskets. So now I actually have space for all my reds. So I'm going to fill them up here. And as I've been doing that, I have been doing my trolley. So my trolley here is just products that I use like daily. Like obviously I don't use all of these daily, but I have my favorite blushes, bronzers, powders in here. Um, foundations, I have to go through this one. I already went through this one, so I've kept out my favorites. And then I have down here, this is just where I keep mascaras, uh, eye bases, like any eye type products. That needs to be cleared out. And I just did my lipstick one, so these are the shades that I'm keeping in here. Some lipsticks here, different liquid lips, a few of my Dose of Colors in here. I love Stone from them, it's probably my favorite color from Dose. But yeah, I just have some lip stuff in here. And then like down here is just a mess, like wires and like just like tripods and random stuff. So I'm gonna organize all that too. So as I've been organizing the drawers, I've been coming back here and then organizing my trolley and taking what I don't want out here and either getting rid of it or putting it in, in the drawers. Like look at how dried up this is. This is just so empty, it's great. So I have the purples and pinks here. I have red, orangey shades here. I have some reds here. And then back here, I'm just putting the different color shades that I don't really wear that often, but still, it's good to have some. So I'm just about to head out. I still obviously have some decluttering to do, so I'll put the rest of that in the next vlog because I need to edit this vlog to get it up. Um, so yeah, we'll have a little part two in the next one. We're gonna end, we'll end the vlog here and I'm gonna go out for a nice little refreshing walk. It's pretty cold, but I'm gonna go out and get some nice fresh air and some vitamin D from the sun and I'll catch you in the next one.